thing we're really interested in, given it's a killer whale, is these, these animals feed right at the very top of the, of the, the food web. They eat marine mammals, which themselves eat fish, they eat everything else. So whatever's going on in, in killer whales is representative of what's going on in the whole of the rest of the, of the ocean. And this year, the last couple of years, we've found some quite alarming results with the killer whales that are off, not this population, but the ones that are off the, the coast of, of the West Niles, the, what's called the West Coast Community. These have very high levels of, of polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs in them, and what we want to try and do is see whether or not animals up here have uh, similar levels. And aside from that, we just kind of really want to just see what, what we can get. As I said, we'll try and get the skull, we'll try and um, see if there's anything left. It's probably going to be really mushy inside of me. It's been dead for two weeks, thereabouts, so it's not going to be pleasant. Um, I don't think, but we'll, we'll have a look. So this is this is. Huge. Looks better than I was expecting. It's still kind of pink. Sides of the lung. Now, that's amazing, isn't it? It's for such a small animal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not finding there's okay. no. So, no fish then? Well, not. Or not no fish that you're moment. finding. Yeah. Grossly looks actually pretty normal. Apart from the fact that it's all. It's gone a bit mank. Right, so. That was a slightly messy and rather, rather, um, yeah, I wouldn't say unpleasant, but it was, uh, it was certainly not the, uh, the most obvious way of spending Christmas week. Um, what we found, however, is, is really, really interesting. So we know now that this animal was in actually really okay, verging on good body condition at the point at which it died. We know that it came onto the beach um, alive and probably was brought on by the storms that came a couple of weeks ago. But really interestingly, we also, from what we found in the stomach contents, um, in terms of seal fur and the claw from the seal, is that we, we can confirm that these are, these are from the group that are feeding on marine animals, um, uh, such as seals. And that's sort of useful to us because when we start looking at the, the blubber, uh, looking at the contaminant burden, looking at the, um, the stable isotope profile of what they've been feeding on and where they've been feeding, knowing that they they have had seal in their stomach is very useful to enable us to sort of um, interpret that information that we'll get from the contaminant burdens. Um, it was a healthy animal right up to the point at which it stranded on this beach here um, as a result of probably coming in on a very, very big storm, on a very big tide. Um, and that was the, the reason that it, that it died. Um, what we know is that it isn't, there is no underlying conditions that I can find that would have made it weak or compromised. It was a healthy animal, it had a good blubber layer, it had been recently feeding, so it wasn't a thin, emaciated, compromised animal that just got washed up onto the beach. I, as far as we can tell from everything that we can find through this, um, it was 